I have here in the pan some olive oil, chopped onion, which I use uh, red onion because it has a sweeter taste, a slice of ginger that I cut in small strips, and then also some um, clove of garlic that I chop also. And now it's softening in the pan with olive oil. I'm going to cook for this evening mungo beans, or we call it beans, green beans. I'm just going to show you. This one is the green beans. These beans. I usually use it for making sprouted beans, but there are different kinds of beans that they are using for making sprouted beans. And this one I soak already in lukewarm water this morning so that it will become soft and it cook very fast. Here are the rest of the ingredients I'm going to use. I still have an aubergine in there, so I use one aubergine. These are only if you have something in your house that you must cook. Uh, fast, then you can add it also. I have one ripe tomatoes and some spring onion that I cut, and I have also some leftover of green beans. So, if that's the last part of the green pocket of the green beans, I'm going to add it also so that it could be out of the fridge. And I have sweet paprika, this one is sweet paprika, and this one is the one ripe tomatoes. So. After I add the beans. I add also the tomatoes and I'm going to cook it until the tomatoes is uh, break down because it will be better when it is already broken down so that it can increase to the rest of the vegetable. The um, aubergine, I soak it in water so that it will not become um, black in color. But I'm going to add it later when the, um, the beans, the green beans is already or the mugu beans is already soft because if I add it now and then I'm going to cook the beans, it takes a while before it becomes soft, then our aubergine will become uh, like a musty, moussey texture. So I'm going to add it the last plus the sweet pepper also. But in the meantime, I start already seasoning my dish. I add already the mungo beans together with the rest and then I'm going to let it um, simmer in a low fire for a few minutes until it becomes a little bit soft already. This one because I soaked it already from this morning, it's uh, rather um, fast in cooking it. And um, these other vegetables, they are just optional. If you have it at home, things that you wanted to get rid of because um, it will become um, spoiled or become uh, rotten and you don't like to throw them, you can add it there. But the main ingredients that I usually when I make mungo beans is just garlic, onion, ginger, uh, tomatoes. Sometimes I don't add tomatoes. Just um, those three. So they in olive oil or in vegetable oil and then the mungo beans. And when it is cooked, I add some green leafy vegetables that, I, that you have. You can add uh, young spinach or other uh, typical Philippine or Asian uh, vegetables that you can add in it. Normally we add shrimps, pork meat or um, dried fish in it, but this one it has nothing in it. It's just plain vegetable that I'm cooking. So I'm going to show you later when it's almost cooked.